DC's data tracker, Burley County is at a high transmission level for COVID-19 cases, and it's the rise in cases that motivated a group of Bismarck parents and community members to request that Bismarck leaders step up. Nakaya Carrero tells us what happened at a special meeting that took place as a result. Bismarck City Commission, which also serves as the city's Board of Health, began the meeting with a COVID-19 update from the Bismarck Burley Public Health Director. According to Renee Mock, Burley County continues to lead the state in terms of most active cases with 741. She also added they are anticipating the workload will only continue to grow as they prepare for approval of vaccines for kids and boosters. We may have to make some adjustments to some of the clinic services that we have and schedule appointments a little bit further out um, and health maintenance looking at the home health visits going to be stretched out to two weeks instead of one, similar things to what we had to do before um, just to get through that busy period. And it's for this very reason that a group of locals submitted a letter to the board. In it, they request that the commission step in and have the Bismarck Public School District require and enforce mask wearing on its school buses as well as in buildings. But the city attorney says legally that it is impossible since there is no state of emergency enacted especially since several of their schools aren't even within the jurisdiction of the city of Bismarck. We have no authority over Lincoln or Minokin or all those places that are outside the city. After hearing their options, Commissioner Greg Zanker made a motion to deny the request, citing it to be disrespectful. We cannot step out of our lane and, and dictate what the public schools have done. So I will make a motion based on the act that we do not have the authority to approve this, to deny this request. And for us to go into that lane, I think the school district has taken a look. They're, they are, are doing the, the job that they were elected for and how to educate those students. And based on the current risk factor, Bismarck Burley Public Health has provided CDC recommendations to the school district. Reporting for KX News in Bismarck, I'm Nakaya Carrero. The community group released another letter after the meeting thanking the Board of Health for clarifying to the school board that it's their role and not the city's.